Well, for the Blue Jays to make the playoffs, a couple of things have to happen. They have to get some wins and play well, and they need some help on the out-of-town scoreboard. But it starts with the Blue Jays getting another W here in this ballpark today against the Red Sox. And they got the tall right-hander Chris Bassett on the mound here this afternoon. Pitch pull and a bounce down to Vladdy. He's got it at first. The short way to second for one. The return by Bichette over to first in time to get the double play. Couldn't have come to Vladimir Guerrero Jr. any better than that one hopper. For Justin Turner, an excuse me swing. And the Red Sox are retired. Chris Sale of the baseball today. You will see how it goes. One of his final starts of the season and where his future is headed. Swing and a miss as he puts away Bo Bichette. Two up and two down. So a two out walk to Guerrero. Blue Jays have the first base runner for Davis Schneider. Swung on and missed. There's a slider. That got him, and Chris Sale, without a fastball, strikes out two Blue Jays in the first. This is so impressive in a lot of ways for Sale. He's pitching with one weapon, the slider. It's a beauty, and he gets Merrifield for his third strikeout. Swing and a miss. 91 miles an hour, but good enough. And he strikes out two more here in the second. And Chris Sale has five strikeouts through one time through the order. Liner and caught on the move. It's Arias and another breezy inning for Chris Sale. One, two, three, they go. And on two pitches, there's one down. We played three innings in 34 minutes. There's Raphael Devers. Devers lines one to straightaway center. Hesitation by Kiermaier. Races forward, finds the afterburners, and turns in a nice play. A sinking line drive headed right to Kevin Kiermaier. Went streaking forward and made the catch. With the fingers down, scooping it right before it got to the turf. So he puts him off for the second time. Nothing doing with Vladdy there. Two walks. And now Schneider. Ooh, Chris Sale on the attack. And he's going to get him again. He strikes him out for the second time. One, two to Espinal. A wave and a miss. Struck him out. He's got seven of those. And they don't have a hit off him yet. Trevor Story, the batter, popped up to Bassett, the pitcher. Line shot. That one's headed to the gap. That's going to drop down and keep on bouncing. Scooped up by Kiermaier. Story will trot into second base with a stand up double. Red Sox have their first extra base hit today against Bassett. Comes with two down in the fifth. And for the first time this afternoon, multiple runners are on for Boston. That'll bring up Connor Wong. And in the air to center. Kiermaier coming in a few steps. And that'll be that. The Red Sox got a couple of men on, but nothing across. No score going to the bottom of the fifth. A lot of gentle outs against Chris Sale. And they're two down. Here is Alejandro Kirk. Swinging a high line drive down the right field line. This is trouble. Verdugo back. He looks up and it's off the base of the wall. Alex plays the carom. A strong throw can get him. Two second and out at the base. Deep in right field and sets him down. They do come up with their first hit of the night of the day. But that throw a dandy. For another great plate appearance for Abreu. He is aboard to lead off this sixth inning. Runner goes, swing and a miss, the throw down. He's safe. Abreu has it stolen. So number three for Abreu is Rafi trying to get on top here against Bassett and the Blue Jays. He drives this with the left field. Merrifield back, turning, and that ball is out of here. Home run. Rafi going up for number 32. And the Red Sox grab a 2 0 lead. Well, he's had a couple of cuts today. This one pays off and give him 97 runs batted in. Drove one out to center field and Kiermaier robbed him. He said, hey, the only way I'm not going to get robbed is I'm going to go deep. And that has been a long time coming. They break the scoreless tie. This is a master class and they're two down. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him with an elevated fastball. Ten strikeouts for sale. And what a job by him so far today. Boston leads it off with Masataka Yoshida. Now Springer trying to chase one down and he's got it. A terrific running catch by George Springer in deep right. A full effort headlong dive into the corner and another remarkable catch from Springer. Left-handed Chris Sale has been the story today here in Toronto. He has one hit and shut out Toronto to this point. Vladdy has walked in each of his two plate appearances. Vladdy with a fly ball to left. It's carrying and it is gone. He has homered for the third consecutive game and the Blue Jays have their first run of the afternoon. And he's out in front. 
of this breaking ball. But it just shows you how strong he is. And if he can, becomes the youngest player in franchise history with 400 career RBIs. And that's going to do it for Chris Sale. He pitched a dandy of a game, allowing the home run to Guerrero in the last pitch he throws, but he only gives up two hits the entire afternoon. And now they've got a guy coming out of the bullpen for the Red Sox who has been pitching about as well as any reliever in baseball the last couple of months. The Blue Jays again have the tying run at first. And now Vod Jr. with a chance once again. And that's going to get by Turner into right field. Bichette will come around to third. Keep it going, says Flatty. Sends up Schneider. Line drive right field. Bichette gets back, but not in time to tag. Bo broke toward home plate on contact. You got to go back and tag up anything in the air, and he broke two or three strides down the baseline toward home, and then Verdugo makes the catch, and you got to stay put. So to bring up Santiago Espinal, the 0 2, there goes Guerrero. Swung on and missed. He struck him out 96 miles an hour, and the Red Sox get out of it, still on top, 2 to 1. And here comes Schreiber out of the bullpen, trying to salt this one away. Ground ball to the second baseman, scooped by Arias, one away. And it looks like John Schneider has decided that he is going to pinch hit for Matt Chapman. Arm around Chapman, and we can see Vigio is going to hit for Chapman here as the second batter with the bottom of the nine. And a base hit into right field for Vigio. And the tying run is aboard. And it's to the backstop. And up to second on the wild pitch goes Vigio. And the Blue Jays are down to their final out now this afternoon. Dalton Varsho is at the plate. Remember, Varsho took over in center after Kevin Kiermeyer was lifted for a pinch hit of an Ernie Clement back in the seventh. And a line drive to center, and it's over the head of Rafaela. Biggio scores. Varsho on his way to third, and in there, it's a tie game. So that Rafaela came into the game as a pinch hitter and he absolutely misplays this line drive. But Varsha does a great job of covering that pitch. But watch the center fielder. He comes in and then recognizes that the ball's hit hard over his head. So this is going to score easily and Varsha will end up at third. Well, a huge break for Toronto. So the essence of a rookie mistake. Top 12 tied at two, and here's Jordan Hicks. A one down here is Pablo Reyes, who's had some heroic moments this year. And he hits it sharply to left center field for a base hit. That'll bring in a run. Verdugo rounding, he will score. Hello, Pablo Reyes. The Red Sox take a 12th inning lead. It is three to two. But with that chopping ball in the middle of the diamond, Varsho takes third with the tying run. So a huge spot for Bo here, who does not need to get a base hit to bring Dalton Varsho home. In the air to right. Verdugo's got a good arm. Here comes Varsho. And he ties the game. Bichette drives Varsho in. It is 3-3. Three, three. The Red Sox appeal at third, and he left early, but he didn't. And Varsho scores the tie. run. Bo Bichette picks up an RBI with a sack fly. Shot toward right center field. Rafael on the move. He dives and he makes the play. And that'll hold the runner at second. Vladdy went halfway and didn't tag. And should be standing on third base. Unbelievable. That will move Vladdy over to third. Now the ask is of Whit Merrifield, who came in three for his last 32. He's 0 for 4 with a walk today. Merrifield hits it weakly to third. And somehow, some way, they win this ball game. It took four hours and one minute. Merrifield always gives it his ball up the first baseline. Devers have no play at all. And what a ball game, what a win.